we can. Good morning guys, welcome to the video and it's time for breakfast. So today is the 14th of May and my scoop sessions, my scoop series started on the 12th of May, uh, so two days ago on Sunday, but I don't really have the, the best session on Sunday, so I decided not to post the highlights because there aren't just many of the highlights and I decided that uh, because this year I'm playing the tournaments in a different way than last year I'm not playing like 8 tables, 10 tables at a time I should just group the highlights weekly instead of uh, for every single session so I'm gonna post, you know, I'm gonna record this, I'm gonna travel today, I'm gonna do a lot of stuff so I'm gonna post it as a whole video for the whole week and probably I'm gonna do a couple of episodes, you know, for the, for the whole series just weekly. On Sunday, the 12th of May, uh, I busted, I think, like every single tournament that I played. No, I just, I cashed one tournament, but it wasn't a scoop tournament. It was the $22 double deuce. I cashed for $50 in it. Every single other one, I think I busted without uh, even cashing. So it really wasn't a great session. Uh, the stream is up on the channel. You can watch the stream if you want, but yeah, there, there aren't a lot of highlights. So I'm not gonna post anything about the Sunday. I think we had just one huge spot uh, in the $109 warm-up, which is a PKO, if I'm not mistaken. So we were in the cutoff, the hijack opened, who had like 55 big blinds, so he covered us. We 3 bet him with the aces, ace of diamonds, ace of hearts, and flop comes 7 of diamonds, 5 of hearts, deuce of diamonds. He checks, we bet 33%, and he check raises us to 13 big blinds. So, with jacks, tens, queens, I'm gonna jump probably. But with aces, I decided to just flat, especially with the ace of diamonds and ace of hearts when the board has two diamonds and one heart. So he check raises 13 big blinds, we call. The pot becomes like 42 big blinds total. And uh, he goes a win on the four of clubs turn. So we obviously snap call with aces. He has jack of diamonds, 10 of diamonds for a first draw. We are 82% favorite. But the river comes the eight of diamonds, and yeah, that was our tournament. Okay, so the reason we are traveling now. Uh, right now I'm in Sofia, Bulgaria, which is the capital and uh, originally I'm from Varna. That's where my parents are, that's where I was born, where I was living when I was a kid. So right now I'm in Sofia because I moved here when I started playing cash instead of tournaments. Uh, we have to go to Varna though because I bought a new car, the car you just saw me start and I need to register it in, in Varna because my address is in Varna. It's like some low bullshit, I don't know, I can't register the car from here, I have to go back to my hometown, so we are traveling. And just like that, we're now in Varna. So we're gonna go have a workout to the gym and after the gym, we'll play some tournaments. Workout is complete. So now I forgot my bag in Sofia with all my clothes, so now I'm gonna go to the mall, buy some clothes, and after that we'll hop and win some tournaments. So yeah guys, you know this apartment, like this is where it all began, the OG subscribers know it, this is where I used to stream, this is where my PC used to be, but now it's not here, it's in Sofia. Uh, I'm gonna use my mother's laptop again, shout out to my mom, the best mom ever. <laughs> She's uh, giving me her laptop so I can play some tournaments and let's get them started because they have already begun. And there we go. We have our first tournament started. Uh, we have 100 big blinds. Late registered one hour after the tournament has begun. 100,000 chips. 
is the $55 deep stack. Um, later on we're gonna play a $100 Super Tuesday, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm gonna film the highlights from my phone like this. I'm not gonna be able to stream from the laptop. So yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so we made some more chips here. 104,000, a pretty interesting hand. Uh, but that doesn't matter, because in the $55 tournament we have queens with 17 big blinds. There's a limp under the gun and an ISO. We're gonna jump against that. There's enough money in the pot, even if everybody votes we're still happy. Obviously we, we can get called by, by worse, we can get called by jacks, tens, ace king that we're flipping against, so... Yeah, very very happy to go all in here. Roll the drums while we get this now. I will not fold up. Uh, snap call from under the gun limp. They said suited. Ooh. No! Not like this! We have, uh, you know, a fifth of a big blind left. After I busted the nines against kings, now sevens. Okay. Okay, we're back in the tournament, guys. From a fifth of a big blind to two big blinds. King eight suited? <laughs> this is the nuts. Wait, I, I will just mean race. I won't go in. <laughs> Press call any. See what happens. Sixes, okay, we're flipping. King or eight. Okay. Nice. <laughs> we're back to six big blinds, guys. Can we win this? From a fifth of a big blind to, you know, a win? Okay, uh, we get moved to a new table, so that's why the HD is kind of fucked, I'm sorry. But we get six big blinds, ace just suited, like we have to jump this from under the gun. Uh, we've c bet here with ace king big against the big blind on 9 for 3, he check raises us, so I think I can just fold this when. When he check raises against the big bet. We're up against ace king here. We hit a deuce. Please hold. Yes! Okay, back in the game, guys. In the $55 tournament. Uh, blinds go up, so we have 13 big blinds. Five minutes later. And we're all in. We get snap called. Like snap pre jump behind, which is not good. We're probably gonna need, uh, you know, work. But there's no way we don't jump 10 big blinds with ace 10 off here, so... Let's see, we're up against 10s. So, oh fuck. Come on, man. That's the only 10 in the deck, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. I guess we got... <laughs> we got lucky plenty, so... It was about time that we, we just lose. And now we have the, you know, the 100 dollar tournament left. Where we're getting free bet by the big blind. Um, I'm gonna 4 bet. This hand is not about for bad buff. Grande prego. He five bets. Wow. Five bet clicks, basically. Hmm. It's getting interesting. Ooh, man, that's a flop. Suck out on his aces and beat all his buffs. Uh, yeah, at this uh, stack to pot ratio, we, we just call like we never race here with a jack. We'll go. He bets again. We'll, we'll just go again. I mean, maybe he still has some kind of buff, like a5 suited. So we want we don't want him to fold that. We'll just go. And if he jumps, we just go. If he checks, we jump. Right. It's easy. Easy. Aces are dead. Okay, so right now, after this pot, we are ninth out of 1,400 people in the 100 door. Super Tuesday, which is amazing. Okay, so we got our first uh, questionable hand of the day. So we're in the big blind, 30 big blinds deep. Wojak has opened. We defend King 7 suited. Pop comes 10 10 3 rainbow. In position C bet for 33%. Uh, I don't know if I can check raise this hand, but I decided to do it. That's where, uh, you know, most of the lack of my knowledge comes. Like when it comes to tournaments on these paired boards, because uh in cash games it's different you know you play much tighter ranges uh anyway i check raise he calls turn comes king which is good i decided to check because from here i'm gonna bet probably my buffs and my 10x check my king x check some of my give ups he checks back river is an eight and i think after he checks back uh my king is good yeah, I think my king is good after he checks back. Uh, maybe he has a better king, but he decides to check back in order to not get stacked against a 10. Maybe he has ace-king or king-queen suited. So, yeah, I think 
my hand either loses to that or it's good. So I decided to block bet and I can get called by, you know, worse pairs. And he calls with pocket queens, so we win. Uh, but yeah, let me know. I'll be really interested to know if you, if any of you guys know. You can type in the comments. Um, am I allowed to check raise the flop with this hand, or is it like, I don't know. Maybe if it's six six three, then it's better because you know the lower the pair is, then the bigger the advantage I have out of the big blind. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. So in the hundred dollar tournament, uh, we have a hundred big blinds. We get three bet in cash games. It's completely fine to jump tens here, but our small blind, and I imagine it's gonna be fine in tournaments because. Uh, yeah, ranges in tournaments are even wider, so tens should be a really good jump here against the 3-bet from the small point. And he folds, which is great. Another big hand. Why are you talking so bad? Huh. Oops. He's thinking. He calls. Ooh, that's an interesting flop. I'm gonna bet small here. Nice, we take it. Let's go! We actually got a pretty nice stack. Uh, 107,000 chips. The starting stack was 25,000. We also got 137,000 here in the 100 door tournament. And the starting is 50,000. So, yeah, we got good stacks. And yeah, let's see what happens. I'm gonna call here. So, quick update, guys. Uh, it's 11. PM, yeah, 11 PM. Uh, we have the five minute break right now and uh, we're sitting, you know, at very good stacks. We got 218,000 chips uh, and 11,000 chips at the $100 tournament. Uh, the Super Tuesday, the $11 Super Tuesday, where the starting stack is not 50,000 like in this one, but 25,000. We have 140,000 and we're approaching the money. And in the $11, uh, some kind of KO school. We have 20 bigs, which is, you know, not great, but we'll still win. So yeah, we're doing pretty well for now. And yeah, let's let's get some day tools, man. Like these two tournaments, they are two day events. So yeah, let's survive. Let's go to day two. I'm hyped, let's go. Okay, we have a big pot brewing here. I'm gonna call with ace five suited on the bottom. Three bad by the small wind. I'm gonna call, obviously we can forward on the flop. Let me zoom on, on this hand, zoom in on this hand. Uh, he bets really small on the turn, which is kind of weird, but I'm gonna just call. I don't think he should be betting small here. Let's hope he checks. It missed hearts and doesn't jump. He checks, okay, we'll check back, I mean. There's no value to be had here, so we have a good enough hand. We win sometimes against missed cards. Let's hope we do. Win nine of hearts. Let's go. That's a huge pot, guys. Huge pot. And we have only four minutes left of late registration in the 100 dollar tournament. So after that, we'll be on the bubble and we'll be approaching the money, guys. Okay, so we have queens now in the 11 dollar Super Tuesday. 200 spots of the money, guys. Pretty close. Ah, what is this flop, man? Hit it. Oh, Ace King Nine. Wow. He bets. Well, I guess you can't win them all, right? We just give up this one. Officially, we have only two tables left the two super tuesdays and we are 20 spots of the money in the 11 dollars super tuesday so we have nines here which you know usually would be a pretty good jump in this spot but i think 14 spots of the money i'm gonna just go because you know icm i don't want to jump and have this guy spawn with for example jacks or queens or aces even and you know, just bust me out 14 spots of the money, that would be a disaster. I mean, I, I do cover him, he doesn't cover me, but that only makes his range stronger, so he shouldn't be opening much from murder position there. Uh, so yeah. He bets 
pretty weak on this board, multiway, so we're just gonna fold. Nothing to do. And we'll reach the money soon. Hand for hand play. One more spot, guys. One more spot and we make the money. Meanwhile, we're actually 3 bet bluffing here. We're on the bubble, bottom versus cut off. But not the pure bubble, like on the 11th of tournament. You know, more of a soft bubble. This guy jumps. Okay, we're gonna fall against that. We can't call with King 10 off. We tried. We tried. Come on. Ooh, while we're wait waiting. Uh, we have nines here, this guy jumps 8.5 big blinds, I think we have to call. Come on, you can fold. Sevens, okay. Please hold. Please. Thank you, let's go. 78,000 chips more. That's great. We need that in the 100 door tournament. Back to uh, staring at the bubble and waiting for the moment it bursts. Oh, oh, hey, 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 we're in the money, let's go, nice, booga, 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 aces, <laughs> guys, we have aces, oh, we got in trick bet, Wait, what do we do with this tag depth? How many big blinds? 23. I think we just call. I think we just call with aces here. Call. I check. It's your turn, buddy. You bet. Hmm. What do I do now? I'm gonna just call. And I'm gonna check again. He bets again. Hmm. I'm gonna check jump. He's gonna fold sometimes here, but uh, I don't believe he's buffing river often enough. And when he bets this smoke, he may want to call with something like pocket tens or pocket nines. He may feel like he has to call. So I'm gonna jump. Pocket kings. Well, yeah, that's gonna call as well. <laughs> nice, man. Aces versus kings. That's the ultimate cooler. Exactly what we need. We need to cover people. We don't need to play good. We need to just run good. That's what I've always been saying. Let's see here. Ah, it's not aces. Okay. Huge spot here in the 11 door. Uh, 11 door Super Tuesday. I'm gonna 3 bet with queens. And yeah, hopefully we can get it in against Jack's tense. You know, a, worse, a worse hand. Okay, so this guy folds, this guy jumps, we go. We're up against Jax, let's go. Hold. Yes, no sweat, man. Queen on the turn, that's it now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, I'm so fresh. Malaktris and Nachin, you cack this caram cash. Flopping a first draw. Um, I'm gonna bet. Bet small. Um. Nine on the turn is an interesting card. Hmm, he leads on the nine. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just call. Realize my equity with my no first draw. We hope for the deuce of spades on the river. Not the three of diamonds. He checks. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a lot of a lot of stuff that I can buff here. So I don't need to buff ace 8 of spades, and I don't really want to block spades when I buff. I want him to have spades, so I'm gonna check. And yeah, I beat some of his hands as well. That's what I forgot to say. It's king, all in. We call. Uh, we 6. Damn, that's white, buddy. Nice, we hold 200,000 more chips in the 11th or Super Tuesday. And now we get ace queen, well. Uh, we have queen 10 of hearts here, 
Under the Gun vs Big Blind, I sealed the flop, got cold, and now turn is a flush, and I'm gonna check back actually on this flush complaining card because the Big Blind is gonna have a big, uh, you know, more flushes than I do from Under the Gun, so maybe he's gonna use that now and, and bluff, and I need to protect my checking range because. You know, I'm gonna uh, check back strong hands here on this board that are not flushes. I also need to include some flushes in my checking range. And now that he, you know, he checks us, we were just gonna value bet on the river. Now we get a fault. Okay. Still, 400,000 chips, 100 spots of the money in the 100 door Super Tuesday. We're close. We're getting close, man. Booga, 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 aces. 3 bet me. Do something. Fight me. No! No! Not like this! Okay, so we just go here. That's like 5 spots of the money. Here's the first draw. Nice! <laughs> For a kind, just make it, you know, more sure. And we got moved to a new table where there are like 3 stacks that cover us. Or four even. This guy covers us by 1000 chips. So we need to be much more conservative at this table, especially 10 spots of the money. But the good news is, of course, we are 10 spots. Hey, 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 money, guys, money. Two hundred and twenty dollars actually. That's really, really good. Ooh, shit. Four ten. Where is my mouse? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we just turn the nuts. We see about the flop. Turn the nuts. Uh, yep. And if he has some sort of two pair, he may check raise jam. He may check raise jam some, you know, jack x of spades. That he has a straight draw and a first draw. He may have six seven. So. So we're gonna go all in on the river and hope, pray to every single god that exists that we get called. Ah, for it. Okay, still, we win a nice spot. Okay, this guy has been limping so much and I've been isolating him so much. It's insane that now I have queens when he raises. So, I mean, it's a little bit scary because he's not raising very often. So when he raises, you know. It should be strong, but yeah, queens, man. <laughs> it's kings. Oh, we hit a queen. <laughs> he hits a king. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know. I literally see him limp every single hand. He, he even, you know, he has the stats like 35% VPIP, only 5% raise. So obviously when he raises, he's strong. Like queens for 20 big blinds, can I really... I don't know. I feel like he's gonna have jacks as well there and base king, so I don't think I can I can fold. I three bet small blind versus hijack. He calls. Pop comes four nine seven monotone. I bet really small as a C bet on this board. He calls. Turn comes a ten of hearts. I bet really small again. He calls and now the river is a deuce of diamonds and I think he's gonna have a lot of uh, single clubs that missed but I don't want to check and get buffed off of my hand. He's also gonna have a lot of pocket pairs with a club like pocket 8, uh, pocket 6s, pocket 5s with a club. So yeah, he's, he's also gonna have 7, 8, 9, uh, nine 8 suited. Those hands I think uh, he may call sometimes but I decided to buff, you know, I decided I have enough fold equity. Uh, he calls though, unfortunately, and he shows us 10-9 suited. I didn't expect him to have a lot of 10-9 suited because I've marked him as a recreational player and I did expect uh, him to race on the turn or on the flop with the hand as strong as that against the small sizes. That's why I used them to, you know, kind of uh, telegraph his range, get him to show his strength against small sizes, but he didn't do that, he just called the two pairs, so... Yeah, congrats, congrats to him. Did I just make the coolest buff in history? I defend the big one with 6 suited against short stack opening. Pop comes, queen for 3. He bets small, I check raise small. He bets 
1.37, I trigger it to 3.85. It floats. Oh, that's so beautiful, man. I love these buffs, man. <laughs> okay, so I raised in the other one door tournament uh, with Queen Anne off in the cutoff with 15 blinds. Get called by the big blind, and now he leads on 9.53. We just jump this hand. I mean, when he leads, he's probably committed to current Owens, and we need protection with this hand, so keep it to jump it. He has King 9, though. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. So we're we're out of the other door in 389th place. Uh, we're playing another hand here that I'm gonna check. We cashed for 34 doors. We'll see what he does. He bets pretty big. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call. Let's see what happens. Queen 10. We found a buff. Nice. And just like that, a fifth of our stack is gone. <laughs> we just call a very small 3 bet from the small bind with Ejakov. We completely missed the flop, he see bet, we fold, and yeah, a fifth of our stack is gone. <laughs> Moment of truth. We're gonna jump his king. We either flip and win, or he just folds. No other options. Nice. Ace or a king, come on. Ace or a king or a diamond. No fucking way, boost, dude. Ugh. So angry, man. I just need to win a flip, dude, and I make day two. <sighs> okay. 229th place, 331 doors. It's a good score. It's a good score. Okay, so I had some time to sit here and think about what happened. And basically, I think I played, played really well. Um, there's nothing I can do. It's just a flip. You know, you jam a king there for 26 big blinds or whatever. He has nines, he calls, we lose the flip. It's part of the game. Um, I'm really happy with how I played. I, I am also really tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I just wanted to show the graph for today. Uh, you know, it's since 14th because we're past, uh, past midnight, so it's the 15th. Uh, we've played four tournaments, you know, you know which they are. We were actually doing pretty well, you know, red line is around zero, blue line is positive. Uh, you can see that we didn't really run that great. I mean, yellow wine, which shows the expected big blinds one, is much, much higher than the green line, which are the actual big blinds one, but we made $182 profit. So, yeah, that's good for, for, for today. And I'm gonna go to sleep, guys, you know. Uh, let me turn this around. Yeah, I'm, I'm really tired. I need sleep tomorrow. I need to wake up at like 9:30 a.m. So I'm gonna have seven hours of sleep, which is, you know, solid. And see you tomorrow.